Hello, this is Mr. Collier, and today we're doing some problem solving with uh, linear equations. Okay, so we got uh, this first problem, the slope and y-intercept are in the ratio of 4 to 5. The line passes through the point 2, 2, find the equation of the line. Okay, so often with the ratio, we can call it uh, like 4x and 5x or something like that, or in this case, I'm going to call it 4a and 5a, where a is like one part of the ratio. Okay, that'll help us. Now we can set up the equation. Uh, we have a point and we have the slope and y-intercept. So I'm going to use slope-intercept form. So I can write it as 4ax plus 5b. So the slope and the y-intercept, sorry, 5a. Slope and the y-intercept are in the ratio of 4 to 5, right? Then we can substitute in the point 2, 2, 2. So 2 equals 4a times 2 plus 5a. And now we have an equation with just a in it. So we can solve for a, right? So 2 equals, this is 8a plus 5a is 13a. a equals 2 over 13. Okay, so a equals 2 over 13. We can now plug that into the equation. So it's going to be 4 times 2 out of 13x plus 5 times 2 out of 13. So it is 8 out of 13x plus 10 out of 13 is your equation of the line. Okay, in the next one, uh, we've got a point on the line and find the value of k. So if this point's on the line, we can just substitute it in and solve for k. So k plus 1 equals negative a quarter times 10k plus 15. k plus 1 equals, uh, this is negative 5 over 2k plus 15. I will multiply everything by 2 to get rid of the fraction. Add 5k to both sides. 7k plus 2 equals 30. 7k equals 28. So k equals 4. Okay, and the next problem, we've got two lines that are perpendicular. What are the possible values of k? Um, so we can, so we know the slope of this one. It's negative k over 9. So for this one, we have to do some rearranging. So we have 9y equals kx plus 81. y equals k over 9, x plus 9. So there's the slope of this one. It's k over 9. Okay, so slopes have to be negative reciprocals of each other. Or another definition of perpendicular is the slopes multiply to give you negative 1. Okay, which, which, which happens when the slopes are negative reciprocals. So we can make an equation of that. Negative k over 9 times k over 9 equals negative 1. And we can solve this. So that's negative k squared equals negative 81. If I multiply both sides by 81, k squared equals 81. And be careful when you're square rooting because you have to do the positive negative square root. Both are possible here. So your answer is positive or negative 9. So there's two possible values of k. Okay, next we have a boat went four kilometers downstream in 30 minutes, 14 kilometers. Return trip took 12 minutes longer, uh, so that would be 42 minutes. Find the rate of the boat in still water and the rate uh, with the current. Okay, so I'll call this rate uh, B and the current, we'll call it C, I guess. So we have two variables, and we're going to set up some simultaneous equations. Okay, so um, downstream, 14 kilometers in 30 minutes. So that's 28 kilometers per hour is the rate. Okay, that means now you're going downstream, you're going uh, with the current. So that means B plus C equals 28. Okay, if you add the boats, rate to the current rate, then you get 28 kilometers per hour. Okay, upstream is going to be B minus C because you're going against the current, right? And it's uh, it took 42 minutes, so what's the rate there? The distance is 14 kilometers uh, per 42 minutes, right? Yeah, so we can do uh, 14 over 42 
times 60 to get the rate of kilometers per hour. And that's not too bad actually because these are both divisible by seven. So that's two over six or one over three times 60, which is 20 kilometers per hour. So it's 20 kilometers per hour upstream. And then we get these nice little simultaneous equations which are pretty easy to solve. I can add these together and I get 2b equals 48, b equals 24 kilometers per hour. So that's the speed of the boat. And the current is, well, they have to add up 28, so the current is 4 kilometers per hour.